Well, a very good Monday night, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your Aggie Land Carpet One forecast. You'll want to be sure to keep an eye on the weather. We now officially have Tropical Storm Bill that is formed in the Gulf of Mexico in less than 12 hours is expected to make landfall along the Texas coast. So here is the current information as of 10 o'clock tonight. Winds are sustained at 50 miles per hour. It's moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour and centered. That is the center of the system is located 277 miles to the south-southeast a Bryan and College Station. So it looks like a sunrise or just after arrival along the Texas coast. Then as we go through the day, that'll be moving across the western side of the Brazos Valley. Tomorrow evening, a possible low-strength uh, tropical storm could be passing the Brazos Valley just to the west, although that cone of uncertainty lies in our western counties. That means that this center could move a little farther to the west, moving away from the Brazos Valley or a little farther to the east, which would mean widespread rain for more of the area. Let me get you kind of the details. First of all, we have tropical storm warnings everywhere you see the red color. That is all south of the Brazos Valley and southwest. None of those warnings officially are in our area for now. But what we do have is a flash flood watch now in effect and will continue through at least Wednesday, if not even Thursday for parts of the area. So the flash flooding, that is our biggest concern and the biggest threat for that probably comes tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow Tomorrow evening and into the early hours of Wednesday morning. Because this will still be a bit of a uh, low end tropical storm to a tropical depression by the time it passes us by, gusty winds are possible. It will be a breezy day tomorrow, but I do think some of us, especially in our southwestern counties, could experience winds in excess of 30 miles per hour. We're on the right side of the system that a brief isolated tornado threat cannot be ruled out. These won't be very strong, won't be very numerous, but it is something that is possible. Now here is your current pinpoint forecast in terms of rainfall totals. Right now it is favored for the western and the northern side of the Brazos Valley to pick up the heaviest rain. I still think a widespread three to six inches is possible with isolated areas between seven to ten inches, but notice that there's kind of a lack of rainfall in our eastern counties. Maybe best case scenario for folks there, but again this track could shift a little farther east which would carry that heavy rain threat farther east as well. Something we have to monitor through the day on Tuesday. Here's your pinpoint forecast. It won't be raining all day long tomorrow, but scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms through your day. As the center of the system comes closer, that is where we have the potential for widespread rain, at least in the central and the western half of the area. As we go through the overnight hours into Wednesday morning, scattered rain through your Wednesday, then it begins to taper off for your Thursday. Here's how it looks. A likely chance to rain for the next couple of days, slowly tapering down, heading into the weekend when the temperatures flare back up. Again, lots to pay attention to. We've got a story that's tagged just below this video. It's up at kbtx.com on the homepage. We are updating that almost hourly as we get information in. That will be continue to be the trend. You can check the Hurricane Center at kbtx.com. Follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And, of course, all the latest details will be found right here as well. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari, she's back on Brazos Valley this morning. Tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. We'll continue our team coverage, and we'll get you the latest details as they unfold as Tropical Storm Bill continues to move towards the Texas coast. Have a great night. We'll check back in with you tomorrow.